Like, do you see the conroe? Do you see the sleekness? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, y'all. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your tell Renee. If you are new here, make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure that you follow me on my social media so you can stay in contact with me, okay? If you are a girl that needs the newest up to date, hair tutorials and you need someone who knows how to literally explain step by step you know for my beginners i am your girl okay so make sure you turn on your post notifications so you never miss a hair video from me okay i look crazy because i've already kind of prepped my hair for today's style which will be a i'm calling it a double braided mid pony okay so that's why I got this little ponytail in the middle of my hair right now. Got my edges out so they're ready to slate later. Um, I have my hair braided so my hair can be stretched so I can easily slick my hair into a pony. I plan on putting two braids right here which I've never done before but I'm excited. So let's get into it. This is the hair. I got it from my local beauty supply but I also have this hair linked on my Amazon storefront. If you click my link tree link in my description box you can go straight to my Amazon storefront. Um, click on protective styles because this hair should be in that list. So this hair is 52 inches long. Super lengthy. We love that because my braided ponies always have to be below my booty. Okay. They, I'd rather have my pony scrub the ground before I have my pony be too short. One like little ponies over here. Um, this is 1B because that's the same color of my hair. And it's a three-pack. I love that because you kind of get more bang for your buck, okay? I'm not sure how much it costs, but if you check that Amazon link, you can get the direct price. Shine and Jam. This is my favorite one from my beauty supply. Um, it's Burn Spang and New, so I'm not going to open it yet because I have to um, use all of this jam that I got. I love this one too. It's from Amazon. Same link in the description box. Yeah, you're going to need some type of jam, whichever one you prefer, because remember, we're going to do the two braids on the side if you are someone that is okay with putting heat in your hair these two make a perfect combination okay um this is a this is a wax stick it's really good for slicking down your hair when you're doing these type of um styles and you don't want to put like jam on your hair because you want something that's not water-based okay and then this spray is really good for holding the baby hairs if you want to do that curl baby hair look i just use edge control because i don't believe in putting heat on your hair just to put product on it that don't make sense to me but do as you please okay and at the very end i'm gonna use this pump it up spray i prefer spritz um that's in the brown vantasia bottle but my beauty supply didn't have any and then i am for sure gonna curl the end of my braid using a flexi rod i'm only gonna do one braid like one long braid usually i do two but we're gonna stick to one today because i'm going on a trip tomorrow y'all so i have to hurry up and do this because i'm trying to prep the night before love that for me now that i've showed you everything that we're going to use let's get started hey y'all just here from the future here because i was too busy watching nail nest tv with my ratchet television shows and i forgot to tell y'all about my parting basically i went at the top of my ear to get my bottom part and then i went in between my edges and my baby hairs for the top part i use my mirror my handheld mirror this always helps me get the perfect parts without a struggle and you basically want to create a comb row depending on the thickness or thinness of your desired look i wanted like a medium size braid on both sides and then that same shine and jam that's linked in my description box down below i'm using it i'm combing it through so the product is evenly distributed throughout my hair um this is also going to make sure that your part is nice and crisp you know just how we like it and then i'm going to go ahead and comb roll as normal i'm gonna braid down my baby hairs too like my sideburns that helps me a lot saves me a lot of time because i don't have to like keep taking off the baby hair that i want to leave out like they just out of my way and then i regularly comb roll if you don't know how to comb roll babe this is not the video for you but um yeah just create a small section in the front make three sections out of that small section and then braid down as normal you want to make sure it's as tight and neat as possible Okay, you guys, so now that I got 
both of my braids i'm going to turn around so you guys can see what it looks like in the middle of my head for my beginners who want to follow this step by step so this is what we have okay two braids that meet in the middle don't worry if it's not cute because when you have your ponytail pulled up and then pulled down it's not going to be showing anyways okay so boom that's what that looks like and now it's just time to slick and form my hair into a ponytail so that's really self-explanatory i'm probably going to use a mixture of my style factor edge booster this is also linked in my description box below probably going to use some of that pump it up spray and some of that um the wax stick whatever i need to do to get this laid down that's what we're gonna do and i'll mostly be using my bristle brush this joint is hard so it's really gonna get my hair super sleek i will be starting with the back and um i'm gonna use a rubber band to do my back part and i'm probably going to use a regular scrunchie to do my front part because this has most of the hair for the ponytail we got four choppers this floor. Right before rapping on God, I was trapping. She get my Glock and LaCour. I got my cake from Osama Bin Laden. Look, look at you sign this shit. I'm for a gang. If you use from my chain, then look, you gon' die in this bitch. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Wacky. Y'all nigga doing that big capture. I ain't with the finish shit. Close thing, y'all get to a hash street in the B clap. Yo, mama gon' have to make a go for me. Y'all niggas keep doing that sneak jab. Gucci had to kill the whole world. Shit, the man, young savage, this motherfucking Mick Jack. Once again, too busy watching ratchet television, but this is how I add in my pony. I just take the um rubber band that it comes with and then I tie it on and then that's that. Y'all, I was watching um Sapphire's The Academy. That show is too good. The way they be fighting on now that TV is crazy. But anyways, <laughs> make sure that you take out a small section to wrap your hair around. You want to make sure that you do your base prior to starting your braid. I was not doing this a while ago and this helps me so freaking much i just wrap it around a couple of times i spray it with the even spray to me this is better than it got to be and then i just dry it out Okay, so my sideburns look crazy because I just took them little braids out. That's what I like to do to make sure that my sideburns stay out of my braid. But anyways, we got the pony braided all the way down. She's like, I would call this medium slash long length because she comes to the back of my knee. But I've done a braid that almost fucked the motherfucking flow, okay? So, um, she's pretty long. And now that she's done, we're going to wrap her up in the, um, what the fuck is this called? We're going to wrap her up in the flexi wire. But can we just have a moment for the braid? Like, the construction of the braid. Like, do you see the cone row? Do you see the sleekness? Do you see, let's get into the way, like, the braid is just low-key perfect okay low-key perfect the thickness i think is perfect and like how it gradually gets smaller because i was adding pieces in as i went little by little yes i'm loving it ba -da -ba -ba -ba. okay so anyways what i like <laughs> what i like to do is put a hook in the flexi rod and then i hook it onto about three inches above where the actual hair is like just left out so i literally wrap with the braid in itself because i want the curl from the hair that's left out to gradually flow into the actual braid if that makes sense so i start wrapping the actual braid around the flexi bra as well and i want it to be a loose coil like this so that's why i'm wrapping it loosely if you wrap it tight it's gonna come out looking like a curly fry 
or whatever and I want a loose curl so once you get all the way to the bottom you just bend the bottom straight like that and now I'm going to go um dump this in some boiling water I used to put mine on the stove but now I just put it in my tea kettle which takes literally two seconds to get completely hot so I got this big bowl um, and I'm dipping more than just the ends. Like, I'm dipping more than just the flexi bra. I'm dipping, like, some of the braid as well. Because I want everything to just be real sleek and smooth. And I'm about to take my comb and dip my hair down into the water. Because I don't have enough in here. And I want to make sure everything gets fully saturated. So, this is what it should look like. And I kind of just scrunch it or whatever. It's super hot, so please be careful. And then to speed up the drying process while it's still wrapped in the flexi rod, I take my blow dryer on cool and I just blow dry it. Feels like I'm burping a baby. <laughs> so boom, y'all see how it's kind of like laying on me and it's flat. Like up here is still stiff. That'll go away over time but this is like swaying with the wind. Yeah, that's exactly what you want. If you don't dip it up, your braid won't be hard like like this part so yeah this is what we want movement baby movement so now it's time for my favorite part baby hairs why y'all ain't tell me i left my door open i'm gonna take the same edge booster and my edge brush and i'm going to flick the fuck out of my baby hairs and my sideburns if you want to see how i do the curly swoop sideburns without flat ironing my hair then just keep washing but all you're gonna need is your product and your brush and use your fingers to load your hair spray your spritz pump it up holding spray whatever you want to call it and blow dry it but since all i'm doing is going up to sleep and i'm gonna have to redo this all over tomorrow i'm gonna skip that stuff but yeah this is the final look i think she's so cute little spizzazz you know on a very simple um and easy style so yeah i'm not sure if i'm gonna wrap this video up right now but if so thank y'all so much for tuning in I love y'all. Y'all been showing me so much support. Y'all been showing me so much support. So I really, really appreciate it. Comment down below what style I should do next. Because honest to God, I'm running out of ideas. But <laughs> I'm not going to allow that to um, let me run out of content. Okay? So if you have a style in mind that you want to learn how to do. And you haven't seen anyone master it on YouTube. Or you just want to see moi do it. Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, mamas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um.